Hi guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well and all good. Today I am finally going to be filming my birthday haul. So it was my birthday on the 12th of September. So at the time of me filming this, that is the Monday just gone. I'm really, really sorry that it has taken me so long to get this video up. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this. I'm going to put my Instagram name down below. Please come and follow me on there if you don't already because that is where I update on things. So if I'm not going to be filming, that's where I'll put why and things like that. Um, basically, I was ill um, on my birthday. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was a bit of a fail. Um, I didn't really do anything because I was ill. Um, and so obviously I couldn't film. And then we had a bit of a heat wave over here in the UK. And it was so flipping hot even with my fan on which you can probably hear now by the way because it's still a little bit hot um it was just too hot to film in here my room like really catches the sun so it was just too much and i couldn't shut the curtains because then there'd be no light so yeah that's why that didn't happen um but today i'm actually i'm supposed to be at work but um we have had um torrential rain and really bad thunderstorms here um brought on by the heat um and so basically lots of places are flooded um and so i can't get to work so i thought this would be the perfect day to film my haul so without further ado i'm going to go straight on into it i'm going to start with the non book things first because there is few of them i got a lot of books this year which is unusual for me because I don't usually ask for books and things for birthdays and Christmas just because well you guys know as fellow bookish folks that if we see a book throughout the year we just pick it up um, so there's never usually anything I want really but this year there wasn't much of anything I wanted so people just got me like book vouchers bought me some books um, and my mum and dad let me spend some money on the book depository, so I ended up getting quite a pile. Um, apologies, by the way, if you can hear barking in the background, that is my neighbour's dog. Somebody is doing something outside and it's setting them off, so hopefully there won't be too much of a distraction. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on with my birthday haul. Okay, so the first things that I got were from my mum and dad. Um, most of my family, to be honest, to get me vouchers and just to send me some money and things like that. So I'm not going to show those in this video because that would just be boring, I think. Um, so these are basically just the physical things that I got from... Um, basically, most of it was from my mum and dad and my sister. Um, and then I have a couple of bits which were, were from one of my friends. So... The first things were from my mum and dad and they are these slippers which I absolutely love. They are these kind of moccasin style slippers. These look really dirty in the slide, I promise you they are not. Um, but these are the most comfortable slippers ever. I just, it's like walking on a fluffy cloud. I just, I love them so, so much. And I, I have this thing, like every time the winter comes around, I like to buy myself a new pair of slippers and I know that I will just wear these ones to absolute death come this winter. So, yes, those are those. Um, and my mum and dad also got me this little um, wooden plaque thing, which I just adore. It says, if you hate it, change it. If you want it, chase it. If you love it, cherish it. If you dream it, build it. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you'll know I love these little things with inspirational, motivational quotes and things like that on them. Um, and so I was so excited to see this and it looks so nice on my desk, which you'll see when my room tour um, comes up very, very soon. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, and then one of my friends, I only actually um, briefly got to see one of my friends um, this year because of being ill and also because um, two of my friends are too heavily pregnant at the moment to like go anywhere or do anything really 
um, and because obviously like, I couldn't go and see them and obviously as I told you before um, one of my best friends has gone away to university so I didn't get to see her um, so as I said it was a bit of a sucky birthday but my friend that I did see got me two wonderful stationery things I just adore stationery um, so the first thing was this this is just a um, plain lined writing pad and on the front in like a rose gold colour which I love it says believe you can uh, there you go hope you can see that um, I just love things like this and at the moment I am slowly starting to write my first novel so notepads are just everything that I need right now I just adore them and this one is so lovely so she got me this um, and she also got me this which again is another beautiful um, pattern on it as well um, and inside this is basically a uh, it is called a list book so it has notepads sticky notes pocket and note tabs so if I just show you a close-up like that I hope that's focusing um, and then it's just got the plain sort of writing paper on here and it's got a little pocket um, down here as well so I just absolutely love this I think it's lovely um, I can see on the front here that this was from Paper Chase um, so I presume that that is where this one was from as well and I just absolutely love these I think they're beautiful so that is those this thing was from my sister and her husband and my nephews um, I wonder if you can guess what it is if I just show you it in the bag so <laughs> this is it in the bag this is the most beautiful ukulele I think I've ever seen um, I at the beginning of the year I was learning to play ukulele I can't remember if I told you guys that um, but my ukulele was rubbish that I owned I literally picked it up in a charity shop so I was desperate to have another one I have a dodgy string on here at the moment that I need to wire so I'm just going to hold that but it looks like this how beautiful is this it's got all the little zodiac signs on it maybe I should have showed you it like that oh there you go um, it's got all the little zodiac signs going around it. It is so, so stunning. I, I absolutely just adore this. I, I just, I just keep looking at it. It's so beautiful. Um, so they got me that. Um, and as you saw, it came in this little, um, it came in this little um case, and it is a Mahalo, Mahalo ukulele. Um, so there we go it's a Mulhallo ukulele whatever that means and I just I absolutely adore this and I can't wait to learn some more um, and then to go um, to go along with that they also got me this um, 21 songs in six days learn ukulele the easy way book so this is just a really nice little thin book and it tells you how to like um, tune your ukulele oh that went out of focus sorry about that um, and it then it has like different things to learn on each day so it's got like day one songs using the C major chord and then it's just got these little songs to use and I just it's such a lovely little book to go with it so I really really am very pleased with that and I can't wait to learn some more and maybe I'll do some ukulele videos on here who knows depends how um, quickly I can pick it up again so um, and the other thing that my sister got me um, was this bookmark which is quite possibly the best bookmark I've ever seen and it says I got 99 problems focus but a book ain't one I just think that is the coolest bookmark ever I just absolutely love it um, and this has already been getting good use out of it, so yeah. Um, the next two things were also from my mum and dad, and I bloody love these things. So they are some socks, um, and the first ones um, <laughs> look like this. And these are little um, Edgar Allan Poe faces. How amazing are these? I just think, ooh, 
what's happened here? Okay, there we go. Um, I just think these are so, so cool. Um, so they got me those ones. Um, and they also got me um, these ones, which are band book socks. So this one has like lots of different titles of books. So it's got uh, The Great Gatsby, To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Lord of the Flies, all those kind of things. And then on the other sock, if I just turn it round and let it focus for a minute, um, all those books have been crossed out. Um, I just think they are so, so cool. And I did ask my mum and dad where these were from because I thought that you guys um, might want to um, buy them yourselves because they're bookish stuff. Um, so these were from an online shop called The Literary Gift Company and they have so many bookish gifts like I just want to buy everything on there I'll put the link to it down below um, so yeah that's where these beautiful socks were from so now I'm going to get on with all of the books of which there are a lot the first book that I got was from my nan and this was a book that I'd never heard of. She basically just picked it up because she's, in her words, not mine, she said, it looked nice and I thought it sounded like something that you would like. Um, and she wasn't wrong, I have to be honest. It does sound absolutely amazing. And it is such a beautiful edition. I've never had one of these editions before, but I may look into getting some more. Um, so this is Still Missing by Beth Gutchen. And this is a Persephone edition. I think that's how you say it um, and it is absolutely stunning if I just take off the dust jacket underneath it looks exactly the same which is always cool um, and then the end papers they look like bits of sort of a knitted sort of cardigan or jumper it's really really cool the way this is done um, and this is the story of a woman whose six and a half year old son goes out one day to ride his bike and he never comes home basically and it, it follows her in the days months and years after this happens um, and basically when people are telling her that she should stop looking that she's just crazy she should give up and what she kind of goes through in this time so I think it's going to be a really hard read but also really, really intriguing. And when I looked it up on Goodreads, because I'd never heard of it, lots of people were saying, oh, it's got so many twists and turns. Um, and when you think you haven't figured out, something else happens and you realise you haven't. And I really, really like books like that. So, um, yeah, really, really intrigued to delve into this one. I love getting books that I've never heard of before. It's always exciting. So, yes, that was from my nan. So the next three books I picked up with a Waterstones voucher that my ooh what's happened here um, that my auntie um, got for me. I know I literally spent them like two days after my birthday. I'm terrible with vouchers. I'm like oh my god I need to spend them straight away. Um, and I found three really amazing sounding books. So the first one is The Beginning Woods by Malcolm McNeil. And I think this is a middle grade. Um, but basically it says, um, The vanishing started without warning. People disappearing into thin air. Just piles of clothes left behind. Each day thousands gone without a trace. Max was abandoned in a bookshop and grows up haunted by memories of his parents. Only he can solve the mystery of the vanishings. To find the answers, Max must leave this world and enter the beginning woods. A realm of magic and terror, life and death. But can he bear the truth or will it destroy him? Greater than your dreams, darker than your fears, full of more wonder than you could ever desire. Welcome to the ineffable beginning woods. I just, I literally read the back of this and I was like, I need to have that, like right now. I have looked it up on Goodreads since um, and it doesn't have the best reviews. But I am still really excited to read it for myself and nonetheless. It's quite a beast actually. I think it's like 500 and something pages. Mm. 
yeah it's it's almost almost 500 pages um but i just i think it sounds really good so i'm really intrigued by that one um, and then the other two that I got with my voucher are both by the same author because I've been really interested to read some of her books lately. Um, I did read some of them when I was younger, but um, I've just been really interested to read some more of hers. Um, so that author is Anne Cassidy, and I picked up Dead Time, um, which is the first in... I think there's like four books in this series. Um... And it says, one night, Rosie's mother and Joshua's father went out for dinner and never came back. Five years later, Rose and Joshua meet again. Rose has just witnessed a brutal murder and Joshua is trying to find out what happened to their parents. Together, they discover a mysterious notebook with cryptic messages inside, which might hold the answers to everything. The murder notebooks have to be read, even if it's a matter of life or death. Um... I just thought this sounded fantastic, like, this was just, when I went to look at her books, this one, I just, as soon as I saw the title, this one just drew me to it, and I think it sounds amazing, um, so that is that one, um, and then I also picked it up Looking for JJ, which is the first in a duology, I think the second book ha didn't come out that long ago, I think, um, I could be wrong there. Uh, and this one says, three children walked away from the edge of town one day, but only two of them came back. Alice Tully knows exactly what happened that spring day six years ago, though it's still hard for her to believe it's real. She's making a go of things, putting all that behind her at last. But Alice's past is dangerous and violent and sad, and it's about to rip her new life apart. Um... I just, again, thought this sounded fantastic. And I really love the cover. I like how it's, like, made up of old bits of um, new newspaper clippings. I hope that's focusing. I just really liked how that was done. And I think this just sounds really, really good. So, yeah, really excited for this one. Um, so those are the books that I picked up with my voucher. And then the last seven books I have to show you um, were all from my mum and dad. Basically... Um, as I said near the beginning, or I think I said, my mum and dad gave me um, some money to spend on the book depository because they didn't know what else to buy me. And it was really, really nice to go on there and not have a specific book in mind, just to be able to look through them all. And I have to be honest, I'm so excited for the books that I chose because they just all sound so unbelievably good. So the first one is I'm the King of the Castle by Susan Hill, which has an absolutely fantastic cover. Um, if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will know that Susan Hill is one of my all-time favourite authors. The Woman in Black is one of my favourite books. I'm actually going to see the stage show for the third time at Christmas with my friends. Um, I just love it. And I'm eagerly awaiting her new um short story collection which i think it either comes out at the end of this month or the beginning of october um and i just had this urge to find something by her that i hadn't read already um and as soon as i saw this i was like yep that's gonna be the one and um this is about a young boy who lives in this big old victorian house and a new woman and her son move in there, um, but Edmund doesn't really want him there, and so he becomes quite evil in trying to get rid of him, and I just thought this sounded really fantastic, and what I love about Susan Hill's books is that they're all kind of, like, old-fashioned ghost story-esque, um, so, yeah, I'm really, really interested in delving into this one it's only tiny as susan hill's books always are and the font i'm sorry but look how small the font is that is crazy small but i'm very excited for this one so that was the first one i picked up uh the next one is a middle grade graphic novel that i was so excited to see was out because it's by one of my favorite graphic novel writers and that is ghosts by Raina telgemeier this is about two... Si I've already read this, by the way. So this is about um, two sisters called 
Kat and Maya, and they have to move with their family from Southern California to Northern California to be by the sea because Maya has cystic fibrosis and there's something about the sea air that helps with her breathing or something. Um, and when they get there, they find that this town is really interested in ghosts and they have this whole uh, kind of like um, Day of the Dead festival where the ghosts come back and they join in one big party and Kat doesn't really want to believe it because she's terrified but Maya really wants her to because she's like if I die you'll be scared of my ghost so um Maya ends up going um with her neighbor who does like a ghost tour they go to this day of the dead festival together and that's what I'm gonna say because I don't really want to give away anything else but this was so fantastic and the way that Raina deals with Maya's cystic fibrosis is just it's done in such a good way and I just thought this book was so fantastic and touching and I really really enjoyed it that's what the artwork is like by the way it's very simple very simplistic um and I just I absolutely adored this book so highly highly recommend this um the next one that I chose was another middle grade. Um, I seem to be really enjoying middle grade at the moment. I kind of go through patches with it. Um, and this one, I actually read and I was like, okay, that doesn't sound like middle grade content. And that is 12 Minutes to Midnight by Christopher Edge. And this is set in 1899 in London. And basically every night at 12 Minutes to Midnight, the inmates of Bedlam, which is a hospital for the insane, get up from their beds and they write over every surface they can find. So walls, uh, bedding, their own skin, and no one knows why they do it. And there is a young girl called Penelope, who is the owner of a magazine called The Penny Dreadful, and she basically writes stories in it about macabre things. And she's asked to go along and write a story about this asylum and things go wrong from there so i just thought this sounded absolutely fantastic it is the first in a trilogy i'm pretty sure and i'm really excited to delve into this one i think it sounds so good and right up my street so that is that one the one that i chose was actually a non-fiction book i wanted to choose like a really nice selection and i didn't even know this was a thing but as soon as i saw it i was like oh my god, I need to have this because I'm obsessed with this woman. And that is Where Am I Now by Mara Wilson. So Mara Wilson um, is, is this lovely lady here who, um, of course, played Matilda and she was also in uh, Mrs Doubtfire and Miracle on 34th Street, I want to say. Uh, yeah, something like that. And this is basically a series of essays and things that she has written, kind of like a memoir um, about growing up and how she fell into um, acting and why she decided that she wanted to step away from the spotlight and not be that anymore. Um, I just think she is wonderful. And I am so... I don't usually like um, kind of autobiographical autobiographical is that a word um i don't like books like that usually i'm just not interested in reading them but i'm so excited to read this as i say i just think she's wonderful and i can't wait to like delve into some of the bits that are kind of um she remembers from like behind the scenes at matilda and things like that um and just a little bit of a fun fact for you here. When I was younger everyone used to call me matilda because i really i looked exactly like her when I was little, I had that exact hair, everything, like, I was just so like her with my books and everything, so, a little bit of a fun fact for you there, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this, and it's got little pictures going through it and everything, it's a really beautiful book, and I'm really looking forward to delving into this one, so that's that. So the next book that I got, I was also super excited to see because at the time that I bought this, it wasn't out here in the UK, but because I was ordering these from the book depository, I um, and they have their like US depot as well. Sometimes they get titles here in the UK actually before their release. Um, and that is The Cabin by Natasha Preston. Natasha Preston is the writer of many books, but one of my all time favourites, The Cellar, which I read, 
was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. But that book, oh my god, is so fantastic. I've made so many people read that book since, and they've all loved it. Um, if you haven't read it, uh, please pick it up. It is just incredible. Um, and this is her latest one, and this is about a group of friends that go away for a weekend partying at a remote at a remote cabin and they wake up one morning after a night of partying and two of them um and two of them have been murdered but there's no sign of forced entry or struggle which means that it's someone actually within this party of friends that has done it i just think this sounds such like my type of book um and i'm so so excited to delve into this if it's half as good as the seller i know i'm going to absolutely adore it and natasha preston's books have the nicest covers and they always feel really nice as well um yeah so i'm really excited for this one the next one i chose i actually do already have an arc of but i just needed the us edition because it is stunning i think it's might be my favourite cover of this year and that is The Graces by Law Eve so I'm just going to come a bit closer to the camera now because I want to show you this so is this not just the most stunning book you've ever seen it's got a little eye on the spine and then underneath the dust jacket it looks like this guys seriously I mean it is beautiful and then um when you open it up um it looks like this i mean it is honestly such a stunning stunning book and i can't wait to read it um all i know about this is it it is to do with witches this family of witches and i've heard it's like the craft the film the craft um, which is one of my favourites, just move back a bit, um, which is one of my absolute favourite films. So I'm really excited to read this and this cover is just, oh, love it. Um, and then a last book that I chose and the last thing that I have to share with you in my birthday haul, um, which I think has been quite a long video, apologies for that. Um, and I am so excited for this book i'm going to be starting it right after this video because it sounds insanely good and that is when they fade by jane roberts um so what initially attracted me to this was in the description right at the top it said um for fans of the lovely bones and i adore the lovely bones you guys know that it's one of my favorite books and movies and so as soon as i saw it i was like Okay, that's definitely piqued my my um, attention. I'm going to read you the inside because I just... Oh, this just sounds so good. It says, Tatum is the only person at school who knew the truth about the affair her best friend Claudette has been having with a married teacher. And at the time, confiding in an adult seemed like the right thing to do. But now everyone has turned against Tatum, painting her as a liar and a rat. When her classmates begin to bully her... She assumes they'll eventually get bored and moved on. But as their pranks grow increasingly malicious, no place feels safe to her anymore. Molly, a hitchhiker, was brutally murdered in the early 1970s, but there is no afterlife for her. Instead, she has found herself marooned with a crowd of other people who have also died tragically. Molly is able to fade back to Earth for a few fleeting moments, and when she fades, she finds herself hitchhiking once again, and telling the unsuspecting drivers who stop for her things about their future that only she can see. One foggy night, Tatum sneaks out for a drive. The teenage hitchhiker she picks up doesn't talk much, until she suddenly turns to Tatum and says, You're going to die. It will hurt, and you'll be alone, and no one will help you. Oh my god, this book sounds so so good i cannot wait to read this as i said i'm going to be starting this pretty much as soon as i have edited this video and uploaded it oh my god this is just this is just me this is just me in a book like oh my god i can't wait to read this well, um of course i did get my kindle as well but i didn't want to show you that again because i know i showed you that in my august book haul so that is it. That is my birthday haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, 
so much to all of you that sent me birthday messages and comments on Instagram and birthday wishes. I was overwhelmed by the amount that I got and I appreciate every single one of them so, so much and particularly because I was feeling ill, they just meant I mean, they mean so much to me anyway, as I say, but because I was feeling ill, they really just picked me up and I just, I want to hug you all. I wish I could hug you all, but for now, we're just going to have to do virtual hugs and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!